Hey guys, there is fire on the mountain. No? Hmm. Popular prophet releases prophecies about Namdi Kano. He don't they warn President Bola Metunobo. He said the situation of Namdi Kano now. Now just they look at like this, as in they tell on in all way, in all way. They feel say na one of those means make them, you know, making come out for from detention. He say that guy is really very sick. And if time is not taken, he's going to die in detention. God forbid though, because that one could cause big problem for this country. When I not say I observe, don't they want every now and then make anything not go happen to their leader? Because if anything happen, hmm, he said there will be no more Nigeria. They don't they talk him. Even last week, they also said it. After Adeshua, Femi additional book, you know, and all that. Now, this prophet is a popular prophet. Uh -huh. And this, now, those prophets, when they say, they, they, they know they just they carry the prophesies. Say, because they want to give prophecy. They don't just give, you know, prophecy. Uh -huh. You don't come out, come talk, say. If the federal government of Nigeria did not release in Mazinam the canoe now, that the man might die in detention, and this is going to collapse the country. He said because there's going to be a lot, in, in fact, crisis everywhere. Nigeria go boy. Nigerians, this is not what the government will just have to keep quiet to. I think it's better they release him. They can as swear do what is called, what is that they call themselves? Political solution. Because the way now when they don't take the matter go now, even the years when he don't day for DSS detention is wasted. Now, now they won't even start the matter again after he has been discharged and acquitted by a competent court of jurisdiction. This matter self, it gets as it be. Because when you look at the matter very well, you will understand that he is a kind of politically motivated. Yes. Not your layman's and the kind of self, he don't talk a uh, prophecy give. He also mentioned Obasanjo and Atiku. Make we just hit the news and get the full details. But before then, guys, if you are just joining us for the first time, please kindly subscribe to this channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. The spiritual health of the Wisdom Church of Christ International in Lagos, Prophet, Prophet B.C. Olujobi, has warned that the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipop Namdi Kanu, should not be allowed to die in prison. Speaking to Daily Post while releasing a series of prophecies during the week, Olajubi also said that a new political party is on the way. He said the new party would be formed by a former president, Olishegu Obasanjo. A party is coming through OBJ to go against Tinubu. And if Tinubu is not careful, they will turn him down the second time, he said. The cleric further advised a former vice president, Alaji Atiku Abubaka, to go and rest, although he still has opportunity. According to him, Remy, the wife of President Tunubu, should not sleep. Another plan is on the way against her husband. I can see him on a sick bed. On Nam the Kanu matter. He should. He said that I probably that is already inside the prison. The government should be careful be about the health of the man. If care is not taken, the man will die in the prison. The government should quickly release him now so he will not die there. Because if he dies there, a crisis will, will begin in the country. They should work on this matter. Igbo land needs to pray for Namdi Kano. About, about Kano, Tunubu should not allow him to die in detention because of problems. Because if Namdi Kano dies, this will fall Nigeria. Well, we have been hearing prophecies here and there and all that. Uh -huh. Make no not forget to say, this is not the first time we've been hearing prophecies. There's one thing about prophecy. They, then they tell you so that 
he revealed uh, to redeem Abi. Uh -huh. So it's now led for the federal government of Nigeria to do the needful and let him go. If this man now is from the southeast, then go talk, say, then don't cook him. This man now, a Yoruba man, say, then cook the prophecy, come out, come talk. So this prophecy is coming from a Yoruba person. You understand? Apart from whether now the Kano, according to him, will die in DSS uh, a detention, which we are praying that it shouldn't happen. Let him not die. Uh -huh. Let him not just die. Because we don't want any any wahala in this country. The one when we date does even too much for us. Not to talk of another one, come bring put on top. <laughs> now fire be that. Apart from what he said, the government should look into this issue. I think there's something they call political solution as well. They should apply it in this matter. Because sending him back to high court now is just like starting the matter afresh. And this is somebody who has spent uh, two years there. Since 2021, he was adopted in Kenya. You understand? So with the judgment on ground now, that means all those years in, in DSS detention is waste because it's starting afresh. You understand? It's starting afresh. They should also consider his health. The lawyers and even the family members, they be crying about his health. They say in no way. And he's not getting adequate treatment, you know, in the DSS facility. So all these things have to be looked into to avoid problem. You understand? So guys, I beg, make I drop out for you. I think Nam the Kanu needs your prayer now. I wanna see this matter. Let's hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you.